Today, we're gonna open the gates sealed by the inner lips of the vulva and see what's happening on the inside of a female reproductive system. Hello, 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 hello. Is there anyone here? Here, here, here. <laughs> yeah, I've just compared vagina to a cave. I wonder if there were a real cave that is made out of the same tissue as vagina is made of, would there be echo? Yeah, those are the things that I think about on a daily basis. Welcome to my world. And welcome to Juicy Ad. My name is Julia and this is my educational, but not boring, actually pretty funny channel, where we talk about all things connected to health, body, pleasure, relationships, and many, 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 many other topics all around sex. This is the second out of two videos on a female reproductive system. The first one was about a vulva, so the outside part of the female reproductive system. And today we're gonna take a look on the inside of a female reproductive system. So that means we're gonna discuss things like vagina, G-spot, uterus, and all the other fun parts that are hidden on the inside of a female reproductive system. So, the main parts of the female reproductive system on the inside are vagina, cervix, uterus, fallopian tubes, and ovaries. Vagina is the first thing that you see after you go past vulva. And just a little side note and a little reminder, vagina and vulva are not the same thing. We've already learned the difference about that in my other video. So vagina is this muscular tube, seven to 10 centimeters or 2.7 to 3.9 inches long. It goes from vulva to the uterus. And vagina is highly elastic in every direction. And also it expands when it's aroused. So it's not just the penis that grows from sexual stimulation. Vagina grows as well. And because it's being so elastic, it can handle really big objects inside of it. And no, you little perps, I'm not talking about large penises, even though vaginas can handle those too, of course. But I'm talking about birth and the fact that baby is using vagina as this channel to slide down um, into this world. So it's basically a birth canal. And being a birth canal is one of the functions of a vagina. Another functions of a vagina are being a passageway for menstrual secretion. And yes, 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 you guessed it, receiving a penis during the penetrative sex. <laughs> receiving a penis sounds like they're about to have a five o'clock tea party. Well, hello, Mr. D, please come on in, make yourself at home. Would you like to have a cup of tea? Oh, where did you go? Oh, you're back again. Oh, you left again. Oh, you're back again. It's a weird tea party. <laughs> Note to myself, work on my British accent. Yep. And vagina supposedly has this part that is called a G-spot. So little mysterious button that everybody is talking about, but nobody knows where it is or if it's even there. And G-spot is this extremely sensitive area of a vagina, stimulation of which can bring a vagina order to an orgasm or even to ejaculation. Yep, I am talking about female ejaculation, which we all know is called squirting. And the scientists have been actually arguing about a G-spot for years now. So vagina owners have reported having G-spot or G-area in completely different places. Some of them reporting having it on the right wall or left wall or farther from the entrance or closer to the entrance. But one thing that can be said for sure, if it's there, it is not a magical button and it's definitely not just a spot, it is more like a sensitive area inside of a vagina. So that's why I personally prefer the term G area to G spot. And since science has sort of failed to provide a unified answer on the whole G area question, I suggest you guys go on an individual mission and look for that interesting, mysterious area yourself. And do let me know in the comments down below what is your experience with this magical G area, whether you are a vagina owner or just somebody who interacts with vaginas. Next, if you stick your finger far enough in the vagina, you're gonna meet a dead end. That's right, vagina is a closed system, so things cannot just go in there and start wandering around a body. Like, it just doesn't work like this, which does not mean that things cannot get stuck in there. These are completely different things, so you need to be careful still. Most likely what you're gonna touch in the end is the cervix or the neck of the uterus. It is this cylinder shaped neck of tissue that connects vagina to uterus. It is around two to three centimeters or 0.7 to 1.1 inches long. And right in the middle of it, there is a tiny, tiny hole 
This is a beginning of a passageway that leads right inside of the uterus. It is the passageway for sperm to go to the uterus, for period blood to escape uterus, and for baby to go through during birth. That's right. That's why they keep screaming, cervix is two centimeters dilated during birth because dilation of the cervix indicates the readiness of the body to give birth and while the pregnancy is still happening cervix is kept closed to make sure that fetus stays inside and besides that cervix is also producing this cervical mucus that is for example helping sperm to reach uterus during the most fertile days or helps creating a so-called plug during the pregnancy to protect the fetus. Jeez, so many functions for such a tiny organ. Side note, some of the cervix owners actually experience a lot of pleasure from touching it. It is a highly individual thing, so don't worry if you're not one of them. But if I may recommend something, do explore that area. Who knows, maybe you'll find some hidden treasure or should I say hidden pleasure? in there. And right after cervix, there is the main part that is called uterus. So the uterus is this hollow, sick walled organ located between bladder and rectum. So the uterus is like this triangle or an inverted pier pointing down. It is normally the size of a fist, uh, so it's around 7.5 centimeters or 2.7 inches long and 5 centimeters or 1.9 inches wide. But of course, during the pregnancy, the uterus expands dramatically because this is where the fetus lives until it's ready to come out. And also, uterus is this place where period blood is being produced. And I really would love to tell you more about this beautiful process, but this topic is big, so I would rather have a separate video on that. So that's the place where I tell you to subscribe and stay tuned because I definitely will be covering that topic as well. The upper corners of the uterus have those thin tubes projected from them. Those are the fallopian tubes, normally around 10 centimeters or 3.9 inches long. Those are the passageways that carry eggs from the ovaries to the uterus. And also that's the place where the fertilization of an egg happens. And the ovaries are those two small sacs and they have two jobs. First of all, to produce and store the eggs and second of all, to produce the hormones that regulate the cycle. I'm talking about menstrual cycle. So the ovaries are connected to the fallopian tubes. The fallopian tubes are connected to the uterus. The uterus is connected to the cervix and the cervix is connected to the vagina and the vagina is connected to the vulva and vulva is connected to me. And I'm connected to you guys because you liked this video and subscribed to this channel, right? Uh, I'm getting smoother and smoother at this, am I not? So here you go, guys. Now we know all the basic things that we need to know about the inside of a female reproductive system. And together with the other videos on the female reproductive system, you can have a full picture on this beautiful set of organs. If you found this or any other video on this channel, for that matter, useful for yourself, and I bet you did, you surely know someone who can benefit from this knowledge as well. For example, that annoying friend of you that has been arguing with you for years that women pee from their vaginas. And in case you are watching carefully my Valva video, you know that it's not the case. Finally, you have a chance to prove them wrong. So grab those links, send them to your friends, spread that knowledge. Let's make this world a more educated and sex positive place together. Thank you for... Yeah, I'm gonna do that. That's cool, right? Thank you for watching my dear sex education warriors and have a juicy sex. And I'm just gonna go have my tea party.